Hello everyone, and welcome to Stories Untold. Um, you already know me as the DJ Roomba, or just DJ, I guess. Uh, in this episode, we're going to do episode 2, The Lab Conduct. If you haven't seen The House of Bannon, episode 1, go check it out. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It's real good. Put you on edge. Let's do this. Look around, go to, and open commands are your friends. Use them often. Often. Okay. Okay. This is subject 12-19-56-23, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leeming, assisted by... December 19th, 1986. What's 23 stand for? Artifact 23 in the chamber. Artifact. Oh, uh, yes. Quick warning. And you can you can read the text at the bottom. Quick warning: there is an epilepsy uh, factor to this episode. There's a lot of flashing lights, so be careful with that. I I don't know how to put warnings up yet on the screen. Um, I could be wrong though, and you will see the warnings if I can figure that out in my editing software. But uh, yeah, just want to let you know. Okay. Let's bring this back. Um I don't remember what buttons are what. Point and click with your mouse. Hold and drag the mouse. Tab to move. Okay. Tab to move back and forth. Doink. Alright. External e e external. Internal. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I um, I put experiment and internal together. All right, uh, let's see. Subject J nineteen eighty six mem is enclosed in solid outer layers. Okay, X ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. M. Electromagnetic spectrum X ray one. Camera, monitor, and charge. And the X-ray device. Okay, so camera. So X-ray. Where's that? Where's that thing? R3, IR, X-ray. Camera. Camera, I think, yeah, is up here. On. Charge CC86. Ah, that's this thing. Alrighty then. Okay, good work. The x ray is coming through now. Nicely done, me. No visible damage to the surrounding organic material. No sound of Alrighty then. All is Sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. I think I have bugs attacking me, but I can't check properly. Press enter. Um, demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low, uh, low-powered red laser to begin with. 
I keep wanting to click things. Uh, laser, laser, red, six fifty. Laser light generator set wavelength monitor set RGB. Okay. This thing, this thing. Is that it? R three. Uh, okay, what did it want? What, 650? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. 650. Hey, okay, cool. No reaction from the first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Okay, um, higher frequency. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Increase laser light energy, laser energy. Uh, use the green lane, l laser, green, 510. Cool, yo. I love high pitched squealing noises. They are my friends. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Okay. You got it, boss. Ah. Mm. What did it want? Blue. That's what I thought. Four fifty five. I want to see what the violet looks like, but I feel like that would ruin everything, and I'd have to start over, which I'm totally okay with doing um, on any other playthrough, but not this one. Maybe I'll make a, a separate, like, I'll, I'll, I'll probably add it as a clip in the end. Um, did it want 455? I forgot. Oh. Uh, wait, are light frequencies higher when they're lower on the whatever this NM scale is? When they're lower in number, that's okay. And it is 455. I feel like I should have known that about the light frequencies thing. Ew, it's beating. Why why is it beating? It seems we have a pulse. This isn't a stable no activity registering in core. It's possible. It's not connected to anything. Let's push further. Unless the metal probes have some sort of I mean metal has a electric conductivity, right? Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to 1. Um, acoustic resonance. Sine is the swoop. This swoop de swoop da. Um, okay. 250 gain 1. Yeeha, baby. Two fifty. Too high. There we go. Amplifier is that one? Okay. Good enough, apparently. Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Okay. Press and enter to receive. Press enter. Um, 500 hertz sine wave and amplifier gain of five. All right. 
well. Need that to see. Um. This is where it gets kind of kind of freaky. Though this is my more well, not for kids channel. It's still slightly disturbing. So uh, here we go. Wait a second. Was that supposed to be sign? I forgot to check. Apparently, it's fine. You talking about me? Okay, we're gonna push further. Running out of time. Let's switch around. Running out of time. You should make time for things like this. Uh, maintaining current frequency, gain to five square wave. Alrighty then. I'm going to double check on the square wave because I'm not entirely sure if I would get that correct. Okay, it is what I thought it was. <sighs> Flick. Alright, it's blank and green. It's going to explode. Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in the movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable. You think? But you need to trust us and keep going. Yeah, right. Your quiet voice is freaky and I hate it. Uh, 1,000. All right. All right. All right. Shut up. <laughs> so, uh, how you guys doing? Pretty good? Let me know in the comments. I'll try to read them. I don't know about responding, though. Yeah, I'll try to respond. That's important. What am I talking about? That's important. I don't want to seem like I don't care. Because I do. Alright. At least I try to care. Mmm. Fun. Productivity. We did it. Who's he? And uh, why did the heart explode? You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. What? Epilepsy warning, I'm pretty sure, is coming next. Proceed to drill the surface. Ugh. All right. That doesn't sound nice. Mm. Let's look at the safety instructions first. Safety goggles and gloves at all time. Do not leave the container unattained during experiment. Unattended. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated at HR. As per agreement, follow all the instructions exactly. Equipment layout. Seems about right, yeah. Okay. Um, drill. Sure that all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off when ready. Trigger sync master as normal to begin drill insertion. Okay. Proceed, proceed, proceed to drill the surface. Off. Off. On. Okay. Sounded like a light bulb. How do you feel? Um, I've got a headache. You sure about that? Hold on a second. Uh, let me mute while I get a drink. Ah, 
okay, I'm back. Um, make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. Uh, if I don't get it on the screen, here's an epilepsy warning for you. I well, I've got to figure it out first. Here we go. Oh boy. Even I'm looking away. Yep. Ooh, that looks like blood. Probably is. Hold on a second. Let me look up what proxy means. It's like a it can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. Okay. So... My, uh, Apple Dictionary says, The authority to represent someone else, especially in voting, or a figure that can be used to represent the value of something in a calculation, which is proxy. So, I am speaking for this orb thing, apparently. New data connection ready. Uh, epilepsy warning, right now. Wake up. Oh, okay, it's another one of these. In the cryopod, struggling against gravity as you force yourself up. Impact to the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship. Hole in the ship hole. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Um. Look around. Look object not recognized. Can I not see? Uh, what? Okay, struggling against gravity, you force yourself up, impact to the planet's surface, hole in the ship, hole. Poisonous atmosphere spills in your craft, you're in grave danger, you have to get out of here. Um, get up. Command not Do I have to... can't do that, okay. Um... Command not recognized. Stand. What do I do? Did he? <laughs> I'm really bad at ta paying attention. Okay, I can't. Hum. I have to get out of here. Okay, why didn't it work the first time? The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight, and the computer terminal terminal adjacent blinks. Look at terminal. Monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks usable. Use system. You tap at the screen, and the airlock door splutters to life slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of it uh the last of the reserves. Okay, look around. Oh, I see what happened. I spelled it wrong. That's why it didn't work the first time. 
Craft is broken beyond the repair. There is wreckage all around. The airlock door is locked tight, and the computer terminal has now shut down. There's no longer any power to the ship. Uh, unlock airlock. What? Okay. Open airlock. Organ. What do you mean, organ? <sighs> okay. Epilepsy warning. Unlike the last two times I did it because I was trying to figure this out, which is what is going to happen. I click on the thing and then it gives me another memory refresh. Here we go. Squeeze through the damage airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around and see you're surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Mr. Asian. Okay. Aviation. Is my name AV? Uh, bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Let me read this again. Squeeze through the damage air lock to fall your knees ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around and see you're surrounded by mangled metal, bright lights. Okay. Look around. A crash site. Smoke billows from the down ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Alright. Um. Get up. No, okay. Uh, leave wreckage. Okay. Look around again. Nope. Um. I don't. Oh man, I can't remember what what to do from here. Look at wreck wreckage. Wreckage surrounds you. Some of this metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Okay. Move. Metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look around again. Circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Wa uh, approach... The person. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. Thank you. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. Mm, I wonder why. Not really. Nope. Not in the slightest. Uh, epilepsy warning. to watch again. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of, of equipment, occasional machine bleep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Uh, look around. Oh, Aurand. We are in a bed in a small and artificially lit room in a single with a single door there is some sort of printing writing pinned to the wall adjacent it is a 
Display monitor with wires that draped across the room in our chest. We have they have tortured us. Mine. Ours. Yes, it did. Um Series of wires leave the machine and run into our chest, attached in different places. We aren't sure if the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. Uh, pull out wires. Mm. We yank out the wires protruding from our chest together. We all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm echoing loudly, loudly down the adjacent corridor. We're in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Chains and display monitor with wires draped across the room. Now dangling, now dangling loose, they have tortured us. Look at writing, writing. Stuck together in a series of flat sheets with symbols across the across them. Some sort of writing. Yeah, read writing. Symbols seem to indicate where our body they where on our body they had to cut. We have butchered, we have been butchered and maimed over and over again. Over and over. Okay. Lee, uh, get out of bed. Get out of bed. Nope. Leave room. It's not a memory, it's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. Never. Epilepsy warning. Every time a new data connection is ready, that will be epilepsy warning. But I'm going to tell you verbally anyways. Okay, you're good to look again. Uh, through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a wa with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but it, this host does. The door closes behind us, and a lock clamps shut. We are alone together. This host. Okay. So collectively, they are one mind, but individually, they are of one body or host. Okay. Um, use device. Well, okay. Okay, so. Mr. H, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We have to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. We don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Yeah, sure, whatever. You shouldn't have put me through this in the first place. So this part requires a lot of uh, checking the flashing lights. So, again, I'm sorry for the... Well, I'm not sorry for the warning, but I'm sorry that I have to warn you. So, here's uh, more flashing lights. Okay. that one and then nope the this one I think okay here we go cool fun The convergence. More flashing lights, I want to assume. Right now, they're just stagnant. Or not flashing. Uh, 
here we go. know you got him okay Well, that was The Lab Conduct, Episode 2. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Uh, if you want more, or if you, I guess, want to stick around, hit subscribe. Um, if you want to be notified, ring the bell, and leave a comment. Tell me, I guess, what was the grossest part of the video, because although that was pretty gross. Uh, again, sorry for all the flashing lights. Uh, can't really do anything about that. Um, well, I guess thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Jack it up!